Okay, so you've probably landed on this video because you've searched FTR 1200 versus, and then you've seen Kawasaki Z1000SX. I mean, what the hell have they got to do with each other? Let me just explain that real quick and then we'll get into the footage. So basically we've had the FTR 1200 for the last three months and this bike is ballistic performance. It's unbelievable. Way more than the spec sheet uh, could ever sort of suggest. It's got 120 uh, horsepower. It's got 87 foot pound of torque, but the way this thing accelerates on roll on performance is angry. It's like nothing else I've ever experienced. And, you know, we thought just to put that into context for ourselves as riders, I mean, how does that compare to bikes that we're sort of, or we've got? Um, this is Jeff's uh, Z1000SX. And I know the way he rides this, he rides it in fifth and sixth gear when he overtakes and stuff. He rides it lazy, he rides it on the torque. And it's a torquey motorcycle and actually on spec sheet, it's quite interesting. They're not that dissimilar. So you've got 140 horsepower. So it's slightly more power than the FTR. Um, it's slightly lighter, it's about eight, uh, eight, between 8 and 10 kilos lighter and it's got 81 foot-pound of torque so it's slightly down on torque versus this and it'd be really interesting to see how they roll on performance in comparison to each other. So I'm going to put the footage in now and you can see what happened. <laughs> So obviously you've seen the footage, the FTR1 in every test that we did is incredible and totally confirmed what I thought uh, of this bike when riding it. It's a muscle bike, the, the mid-range performance on this is absolutely bonkers. Um, so fourth gear, uh, no sorry, so sixth gear, this bike won uh, without too much problems. Fifth gear I think was the closest between the two. I think the Z1000 was actually pretty close in fifth gear. Fourth gear, the way the FTR 1200 charges on in fourth gear is absolutely bonkers. It's unbelievable. And it just is, it's just instant punch on this bike in fourth gear. Actually, the only test where the Z1000 won was when we dropped it down to third versus fourth on this. And of course, then the four cylinder uh you know motor of the z1000 that's where the power comes and and it and it of course beat it so what's the summary well do you know what it's probably just an interesting review and you know it's a real eye-opener to how quick this motor is because i'm telling you the z1000sx is a quick motorcycle uh, for most riders out there but you know the real world performance the real world grunt on this is way more than the spec sheet uh could tell it tells a different story I think it's massively interesting. I think, you know, obviously when this gets above 100 miles an hour, yes, okay, of course it's going to beat the FTR. This will run out of steam um, by that point. But, you know, in that real world grunt, this is a really, really fast motorcycle. So interesting test. Hope you've enjoyed it. All the gear that we use on test uh, is from Knox, obviously. I'm going to put all the links in the description so you can check out all that we do there. Please like, please comment, please subscribe to the channel too and sign up for interesting videos like this. Okay, see you next time.